If the dryer drum in your washer-dryer combo stops spinning, here are the six most probable causes. The drum is rotated by a drive belt, which can wear down and break over time. As with most dryer repairs, you will need to remove the front panel to replace the belt. Most dryers will have two or more rollers supporting the rear of the drum, and some will have another two rollers supporting the front. If any of the rollers or roller axles wear out, the drum will have trouble turning. We recommend replacing all of the rollers and axles at the same time. Some dryer models have plastic glides that support the front of the drum. A worn or damaged glide may cause the drum to bind, putting a strain on the drive motor. Some models utilize a rear drum bearing and retainer to support the drum. Again, if the bearing is worn out, the drum will have difficulty turning. The drive motor drives the belt and operates the blower wheel. If there are no obstructions preventing the blower wheel from turning and the motor makes a humming sound, it's likely that the motor has failed and will need to be replaced. The dryness control board shuts the dryer off when the clothes have reached the proper level of dryness. If defective, the board may cause the dryer to stop too early, although this is rarely the case. You should confirm the other potentially defective dryer components are working properly before replacing the dryness control board. All of the parts shown in this video are available on our website. Be sure to enter the full model number of your appliance in our website search bar to find the specific replacement part that will fix your washer-dryer combo.